Pastor Jumi Okudare, a devout woman of God, wife, mother, and entrepreneur. A God-fearing woman who has devoted her time to ensuring that God's message is used to empower everyone, but most especially, women. With a strong belief in the importance of women empowering women and educating each other through our life experiences, she is the founder of Women's Forum, Let's Be Real, a forum for women to work through issues and set and accomplish goals together. Held every second Friday of every month at 6 Elton Road, Lee Green, London. Keep up with Let's Be Real here on PRZFM every Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Hello everyone and welcome to this Christmas episode of Let's Believe on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. My name is Jumio Predali. I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in. We are so, so appreciative of you all. Wherever you are, we are happy that you tune in every Tuesday from the beginning of the year, <laughs> even till now. We so much appreciate you. God bless you all. And we are delighted to be bringing this program to you wherever you are on weekly basis god bless you today we are going to talk about this reason for this season we are going to talk about the real meaning of christmas all over the world is going up and down it's christmas period even the people that doesn't know the meaning it's christmas time everybody is happy and oh, some people might not be happy don't mm -hmm. let us underestimate that but i've got in the studio with me my very own honorable <laughs> mr t uh, we are going to discuss about this two mini of christmas together today welcome mr t thank you for taking time out to come on this show again thank you for inviting me it's a pleasure to be on this um, platform again so thank you very much okay today everybody is in this festive mood all the street is busy everywhere is busy the mm -hmm. shops are busy things are more expensive <laughs> people are rushing as if after this season there will be no more food in the country so and i believe that is the same thing all over the world not just only in the united kingdom in london where we are based what I believe it is, is the same thing. I was speaking to my friend the other day mm. and she said she doesn't know where all these people came from <laughs> that are on the road. There's traffic jam all over in oh, Africa. Wow. The marketplace, you, can, you can't find your feet anywhere. You have to be rubbing uh, side <laughs> by side with people that she doesn't understand. Maybe people came from the graveyard <laughs> or from the moon. <laughs> Everywhere is so full of people. And because of this particular reason, mm -hmm. which is Christmas and mm -hmm. the end of the year that has come. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. T, mm -hmm. are you looking forward to Christmas? <laughs> well, um, I don't know. It's an interesting question. I think for the first time, actually, I'm not too sure whether I'm looking forward to Christmas <laughs> or not. Or not. Um, it doesn't actually feel for me. I know you've mentioned about the changes that are happening around there, but maybe because I'm, you know, really engrossed in work at the moment that, um, Christmas is next week. It feels like, um, it's just crept up on, on us, really. Yeah. So it's, um, today's what, the 18th? So it's about just one week to Christmas, mm -hmm. which, um, is very strange, I, I must admit. So, um, to answer your question, am I looking forward to Christmas? Yes, um, I am. I, I'm looking forward to the break. Um, it's been a very long year and, you know, um, uh, yeah, so I am looking forward to it. I suppose for me, normally I take quite a long, um, um, my annual leave around Christmas, but um, this year um, I'm working th um, on, you know, on the days around it. So, so not as much as previous years, but I'm sure it will be great nonetheless. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. I, I, the same thing with me. I'm, I'm so busy that... Yeah. Is is now that is done on me that Christmas yeah, is coming. Very soon. So uh, we're going to see. Maybe I'm looking forward to it or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now people have different memories of Christmas. Yeah. In time past, you have been looking forward to Christmas. Yeah. Everybody is looking forward to Christmas. I'm looking forward to Christmas period as a time of rest as well because mm. I always take my leave from the twenty <laughs> fourth or twenty third till January. Yeah. Just <laughs> go like that and in between i have time to stretch my legs mm. and to think and to gather my thoughts for the mm. new year and things like that and to really appreciate yeah. our god even at that time so now 
if in your own way what's your uh favorite memories of christmas Let, let's forget about now yeah. what's the time pass no i think for me um the favorite memories of christmas um obviously when i was a little bit younger and um just the delight um looking forward to the, um to the actual occasion um, most and honestly uh, most most likely because of the gifts mm. that one would um you know be expecting so my my memories around oh, christmas yeah, uh, ex you know. oh yes exactly so this might be linked to why i'm not really looking forward to christmas so the tables have turned um but in terms of, of my memories of christmas it does really um um revolve around around um, you know, being a young child, um, you know, asking for something and being expecting that that would be you know, delivered um, on, on Christmas Day. Um, but for me, even more recently, I suppose um, last year was um, you know pivotal in my life or, or significant because it was the first Christmas with my son. So it was it, it was um, a good memory to be able to you know wake up together as a family um, and you know celebrate. So yes, I've got some quite good memories of Christmas. Okay. Now we we know that Christmas means different things to yeah. different people, and many people have argued about the fact that uh, Christmas is not Christmas. And Christmas is not uh, what it is. Yeah. To us, Christmas is the mass that was yeah. uh, done for the remembrance of the day our Lord Jesus Christ was yeah. born, and that is what we understand we Christians about mm -hmm. uh christmas but christmas has is been diverted this way in mm -hmm. these days to different things it means different things to different people yeah. now we want to focus it because his mean his meaning has been uh divided into believers and non-believers the unbelievers what christmas means to them is different for to what christmas means to mm -hmm. uh to us uh christian should we still be celebrating christmas I firmly believe that Christians should celebrate Christmas, um, but um, I would say that um, there should be certain caveats around that. Um, I, I think God sees our hearts personally, sure. and um, if we are truly celebrating the birth of Christ, or that Christ, you know, what came down to you know god came down to save us mm. then there is nothing i can see that's wrong about that just in the same way as we celebrate his death and remember what he did for us i don't think there's anything wrong with celebrating his birth and there are some significant things about the way christ came down anyway that 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 it's good to remember so personally i don't um stipulate with, um, with with those who say we shouldn't celebrate christmas but i can understand some of the reasons why um you know they're suggesting that we maybe shouldn't mm. um but but i i'm i'm one who 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 would argue that we should celebrate christmas i i am with you on that mm. because i believe we should celebrate mm. christmas mm. because even though people argue that that's 25th of december yeah. is not the bad day of our lord jesus christ yeah. but I remember my 48th birthday mm. i celebrated it on a different <laughs> day yeah. and i called people together to come and celebrate yeah. with me so the fact that it's not the 25th does not make any yeah. difference but for the fact there's something that gives me joy for mm. the fact that the birthday of our lord jesus yeah. christ is what the whole world yeah. is gathering together to yeah. celebrate that gives me joy yeah whether it's the day or it's not the day is mm. a different thing yeah. and everybody can choose the day of celebration yeah. even when you have a baby you might decide to name the baby on the eighth day and do a bigger yeah. celebration later yeah. on so i want to be in support if there is one day that we call the attention of the whole world to my god mm let it be yeah i will be happy for them to do it yeah exactly i i, I very much agree with that um i don't buy in with the argument that you know jesus wasn't born on the 25th or um uh, as as a reason to say you shouldn't celebrate christmas um i think that's a weak argument for the reasons you you stated that as long as you're truly celebrating christ's birth you can choose any day and to be mm. fair we should be celebrating christ every day as christians and living um you know how how christ wants us to live so there's nothing wrong with you know choosing a certain day to to just m to, to mark the occasion of the birth of christ and for the whole world to know that this is what we as christians are celebrating mm -hmm. i don't think there's anything wrong with that um there are other reasons of course why why um some argue that we shouldn't um celebrate cr um, christmas but I, I i still come down and we can talk about that mm -hmm. um but i still come down to um to the belief that we should 
Thank you, because there is no other person that is being celebrated as our Lord Jesus Christ. N- no, 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 no king, no queen, <laughs> nobody, nobody else in this whole wide world yeah. that is being celebrated. His name is his birth is uh, being uh, used for the calendar. Yeah. His birth is being celebrated by the whole wide world. Tell mm, me, yeah. please go ahead. And do it. <laughs> the light, the 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 season brightens the whole life. Yeah. Even if they don't know the reason, one day somebody will trace the meaning to yeah. what is Christ yeah. and then the meaning will be yeah. will be known to them. I, th- I think it's a huge opportunity to um, to evangelize, to preach about what Christ is doing in our lives as Christians and to mark um, the occasions and celebrate. I mean, the re- um, if, if we want to discuss some of the reasons why um, they, some would argue against it, you know, mm-hmm. they, they, they point to the fact that Christmas has been fully commercialized. commercialized so you know uh, we can't hide from the fact or shy away from the fact that for a lot of people um it is really about um gi- uh, um, about gifts and presents i even mentioned it when I, I i go back and think i i look forward to the gifting aspect of mm. christmas um i do as a christian realize that you know we are celebrating christ mm. but for some people it's gone too far to the point where they are more um expectant of the gifts or, or the presents or, or or that aspect and they forget the true meaning of christmas mm. which is why what we're doing today is is important mm. to to root it all back to christ and the birth of christ and and his his life and his meaning for us um so the commercial aspects to it we've talked about the fact that they say you know the 25th is not um the day he was born and you know we we've, we've already um explained why that is is a weak argument they they link it to pagan traditions and say that you know the whole trees mistletoes all of this was linked to certain um beliefs of unbelievers um and that we shouldn't you know be partakers of that but i i still go back to the fact that i think God will see our hearts as Christians. Exactly. When we go to church and, and mark the occasion, we're not thinking about, you know, all those um, sort of pagan paganism or, or pagan um, um, festivals or, um, or, or attributes of what they, they celebrate. We're thinking about Christ. Mm-hmm. And if, if God sees our hearts and sees that that's what we are truly wanting to celebrate, then I don't think there's anything wrong whatsoever about it. Mm. Thank you so much. I mm. really agree with everything mm. you have said. Mm. And... We are we going for that because we are going to talk about what we should and what we should be careful of, yeah. even at this season, that we mm. not make uh, the meaning of Christmas they be diluted for us exactly. as Christians. So now let me just quickly ask you, what does Christmas mean to you as a person? Um, Christmas to me, I mean, as I said, um, I believe I've grown a little bit and and fully understand um, what um, Christmas is about or you know my belief in Christianity has developed as I've uh, matured and for me it is it is not about the, the presence or any, anything like that although um, I su- subscribe to the whole idea of giving and we'll talk about that as, I, I guess later on um, but for me Christmas is um, all about Christ which is God coming down um, to in human form to to save us it, it really is about the birth of christ um our lord and savior um the, who came down for the atonement of sin um and, and, and to redeem us so for me it is all about christ celebrating he, he celebrating him fully it is also about and um, what christ represents which is love mm-hmm. and um and that uh, materializes in various w- aspects you know in the giving and also in in what we do which is you know celebrating as family and showing love not just to our family but we also um and even believers and non-believers tend to think about others who are less fortunate around christmas Mm -hmm. so so it really is about our lord and savior and what it truly means because god is love um and 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 it is just really about showing and spreading love really you said you've said it all Mm -hmm. because uh for god so loved the world yeah (laughs) he gave his only begotten son so we can't talk about christ without giving yeah (laughs) he gave his life we have to give something and when you talk about giving people think about gift yeah so that's why the gift yeah gifting aspect of it comes in but i know we've been giving from january to december it's only the people that don't understand <laughs> that say why well, we keep it till, till christmas, till christmas. <laughs> yeah. so we will talk about it, what we should how we should manage the giving aspect of yeah. it but let's talk about the our children as well mm. because they are so excited i remember when we were young we, they took us even to see this santa claus 
and it's still existing now oh, so now as believers should we teach our children to believe in santa claus <laughs> oh lord <laughs> um it's a bit difficult because um if we want to be true Christians, we can see that Santa Claus has got nothing to do with um, mm. with Christ. It's got nothing to do with Christianity. So mm. why should we teach our children to believe in this, um, you know, this mythical cre- um, being who is who is a bit obese and wears a red um, <laughs> cloth and you know at some point um, finds a way to go around the whole world delivering presents and. It, it, it's difficult to say as Christians that we should maybe let children believe in, in, in Santa Claus. Although um, um, I think I was uh, letting you know a bit earlier that um, I, I know of one um, friend whose um, whose daughter um, told other children that Santa Claus didn't exist, and the child got in trouble. Um, and they called the parents to say, "Why is your child telling other children that Santa Claus doesn't exist?" Which is which is a bit of um, disturbing actually, because it doesn't exist. So why are you you know exactly. scolding the child for saying? the truth almost um i've got a son who's um um, about a year and a half um and uh, over the weekend um or last weekend we did take him to the grotto which is where you take them to see santa claus so i suppose it'd be a bit hypocritical of, of me to say no do not teach your children to believe in santa claus however i think long term um I would rather focus on the true meaning of Christmas rather than on on Santa Claus because you can get into um, um, a pickle where where it, your child starts to forget the true mm. meaning and focus on on on, on this um, Santa Claus and that can can um, cause problems and issues and it's why um, some Christians don't celebrate Christmas mm. because they they believe it's been modelled up with you know other beliefs and other traditions and so we need to be very careful about that so um, to answer your question I would say. Um, I would say you should just be careful that um, whether you let them believe in this um, in Santa Claus that you don't let them forget the true meaning of Christmas. I think up to a certain age it, it might be okay, um, but as um, but you really do need to let them know you know um, what what mean, um, Christmas is all about. You don't want to fall into the in mistake I had, which was I think maybe around seven or eight or so, and I maybe still believed in Santa Claus. And I went and I went back to school one day after Christmas, and I was really arguing with um, other students, and saying yes, Santa Claus exists, and gave me this present. And and you know later on, feeling very embarrassed when I figured out that he didn't exist. So um, you know try and um, you know try and be very careful that they don't forget the true meaning of Christmas. If you can avoid it, then do. But I suspect it's very difficult to, mm. especially those of us who live in the Western society. So, um, yeah, just be very careful that they don't forget um, what Christmas is truly about. Thank you so much. I, I agree with what mm. you have said. Mm. Well, I just want to uh, say that is it's not just Santa Claus that people use to <laughs> deceive. Yeah. Let me use the word deceive or maybe play with a child. Yeah. Because I remember... When we were growing up, you tell a child that, oh, there's a monster behind <laughs> yeah. you. You know, don't go in there, yeah. there's a monster, mm. it's something like that. But when they grow up yeah. to the level that they know yeah. that there's nothing like monster, exactly. nothing is there, yeah. they will understand. Yeah. So that's why the teaching has mm. to be going on side by side yeah. with whatever things that people yeah. are saying that, oh, Father Christmas will bring you this gift. Yeah. Then we grow up to know that it doesn't exist. Yeah. So we don't want to make a force about that. Yeah, I wouldn't make a force about mm-hmm. it or use it to um, be a way to dismiss Christmas. I mean, yes. it's similar to, as you say, the truth fairy and all the exactly. kind of things that we allow children to um, believe in, but um, let children be children. But, you know, as um, they grow, you know, just make sure that they know truly what, what it's all about. Okay, thank you so much. How do we balance the expectation of our children during this Christmas? Because many of them, I remember when my children were growing up, they would write a long list, <laughs> a long list of items that they want, yeah. and they believe that is the Father Christmas that will buy all the, yeah. those things. How do we manage their expectation right now and be honest with them and let them know the truth? Um, well, one trick is to use the whole idea of Santa Claus <laughs> so that um, if um, they don't get something, you, they don't blame you and they blame this mythical creature. creature. No, but to be honest, um, I think the answer is in what you said, which is about being honest and letting them know the true uh, reason for the season and just letting them know um, what you can do as parents um, if, you know, it, that... Uh, 
it's just very important, I think, for children to not believe that uh, money grows from trees or, 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 so, or, or that whatever they ask for they will necessarily they have to get. And that's where we get to the um, instances where we might be spoiling children. So I think we need to, to be honest about um, with them as to what you can afford or what, what is possible. Um, but also letting them, um, trying to shy away from the whole belief that Christmas is all about um, the gifting. Uh, and making them realize the true reason for the season so that they can focus their attention on on other things as well as um, the gifts that they may ex- expect. So try your best as parents, but, but try and be honest and, and, and not spoil the children as well. We don't have to break our banks. We don't yeah. have to go and borrow money. Mm. If we can afford it, we can afford it. Yeah. By starting early to have a reasonable conversation about mm. the financial situation of the family yeah. with the children, they yeah. will grow up to understand. Yeah. Well, I think we, my uh, children under the age of five might not understand. No. They can mm. still believe that yeah. Santa Claus yeah. is bringing yeah. this. Oh, Santa Claus has failed them. They yeah. bring this. <laughs> but after the age of five, we yeah. need to sit down and say, hang oh. on a minute. Yeah. This is not really a stick, yeah. family. It's, this is not <laughs> yeah. that family. Mm. That is not exactly. a family. This is what we can afford. We are going to share this among all of us, mm. and this is what we are going to get, yeah. and we are going to thank God for it. Exactly. So, children, we know that whatever we get is by His grace, yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. Jesus Christ is not angry because we don't get a gift. No, no. Jesus mm. Christ is not angry because we are not giving expensive yeah. gifts yeah. to people. Mm. So, we just need to teach them that, okay, mm. we give and we also receive. Yeah. When you receive, you also give. Yeah. But it can be as little as anything exactly you don't have to make a fuss about it yeah. oh somebody get a trainer's hundred pound mm. i have to get the same thing mm. hang on a minute your surname is different from mm. <laughs> that exactly. person's surname and the way we make money is different from that mm-hmm. family this is what we can afford in mm. this family mm. and i believe that if we start to have that reasonable conversation yeah. they will grow up to understand yeah, yeah. but it's suddenly that you we want to please them we want them to feel like any other yeah. person and because we they can we can manage that expectation, they turn out to be something else when yeah, they grow up. Exactly. And that is the point. That's the true meaning of uh, Christmas that we are talking about on Les Belay mm. on PLZ Radio One O Nine Point Two FM. That we should manage the expectation of our children. Mm. We should not be carried away with what the world are doing about Christmas and miss the true reason for the season. Mm. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, Mr. T have told us, let us manage the expectation of our children. Don't mm. let us deceive them. Let them know our position financially yeah. and they will understand with us. Okay, we know that this season is very stressful for some people. Yeah. Very stressful. It can be stressful. How do we cope and journey throughout this season without stress? <laughs> um. I think you're very right. Um, it, it it can be a very stressful period for people. Um, linked to some of the things you're talking about, where where um, it's being taken over by you know commercial commercial commercialism um, in terms of um, it the, the huge focus being on buying and buying and buying and you know this is the period where a lot of money is made by businesses and corporations. I think I was listening to the news today and apparently on Saturday. Um, as in in the UK or in we're going to spend over a billion pounds on one day just on on buying gifts and so a lot of money is going to be spent by some but at the same time some people will not be able to um to 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 be able to afford um a lot of these things so it can be a very stressful period um so i suppose some advice that i would give is about um about budgeting okay and yeah, and being realistic, uh, having having a budget. I think if you if you review how much you have and how much um, you are going to spend and stick to that, um, realizing that after the twenty um, fifth and twenty sixth, you've mm-hmm. eaten as much as you want, you've bought all these gifts, you still have to live, you still have to survive, and that you have enough or more than enough to be able to cope. Um, then you can um, deal with the stress, but you can be able to deal with the stress. So having a strict budget and and sticking to it is one way of dealing with the stress I think so that you don't get yourself in situations where you're in debt because mm. part of what causes the stress I think is when uh, is when you you get yourself into debt or, or, or situations where you can't afford um, what you've already bought and and the annoying thing about um, 
this period is you know it's possible to get things on credit isn't it oh, and, yeah. and, oh, and you know you, you can get the things but then you, you can almost forget about the fact that you have to repay it at a later date which it, which can be difficult and companies are, are really keen at pushing people to be able to spend in that way and it can be good if you can manage it but we really need to be able to watch and be careful so having a budget I think is one way of of, of dealing with the stress um, I think also remembering um, who you are you are talking about um, this is Okpedari family. This isn't um, I don't know. This isn't Oikon. This is someone else. This is remembering who you are and not trying to please others too too much. I mean, if if we're trying to be what we are not, that's when we can get ourselves into trouble. into trouble. So remembering what you are and what you can afford, I I I think will help to to manage with the stress. Keeping things simple. You don't have to. Um, you know, f for me, I say we're, we're on the other side now. If I want to think about all the people that I am, I want to give things to. Th there's no way that um, what I I have can be able to afford uh, what really other people deserve. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to keep things simple. And in if, as you said, if you've not been showing love throughout the year, that's when you probably will get into the situation where you feel you have to do too much mm -hmm. at the end. So try and keep things simple and just um, spend what you what you can afford. I think um, prayer is something that always helps relieve stress. Mm -hmm. um, so praying to God and asking him to help you through um, whatever situation you're in, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So so doing that and casting your cares and burdens onto onto Christ for he cares for us is, is something that we, sh we should do. And I've already spoken about about not overdoing things um, and, and I, I truly believe that will will help dealing with stress but you know in the same way that we try and um, deal with our own stress trying to help other people who are in stress so trying to um, also offer ourselves and to help out and I know one thing I've realized recently is that um, my wife um, start, it gets a bit stressed around Christmas mm -hmm. and I couldn't understand it for the longest of t um, for a long time but now I'm starting to see that for 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 some women um, Christmas can um, tends to be a period where you spend a lot of time cooking mm. And imagining that you have like huge families around coming around and you feel like you have to well you have to cook for mm -hmm. so many people um it can be stressful thinking mm -hmm. about buying all the things that you need to do and spending all the time um there so trying to um trying to ask others to help when you are feeling stressed so there's not nothing wrong about asking for help mm -hmm. i th i think that can help um de deal with with stress Thank you so much. Let me add mm. one more thing. Yeah. Planning ahead can also help. Yeah. If you plan ahead, some people get their presents in August. <laughs> they start to manage it, yeah. put it somewhere, buy something mm. in October, put it somewhere. Yeah. You are planning ahead. And some people have their Christmas budgets from January. Yeah. And they're saving, putting yeah. something in place that 20 pounds away, whatever is it amounts to yeah. by november that is the yeah. christmas spending exactly. so planning ahead of time i also relieve this stress going to shop on monday <laughs> before christmas oh yes oh, you're kissing your teeth every minute on the road you see people are just not patient they are rushing here as if they are rushing out of the world. They are rushing here, rushing there. Drivers are not careful. Mm. So we need to plan and say, okay, I know Christmas is coming. Mm. Let me plan my way. Let me start to do my shopping bit by bit. I'm not going to rush mm. and go and kill. Mm. If you go to the African market by Friday, you'll be there for hours. Yeah. No matter how small shopping you want to do, you'll be there for hours. So it's better you just buy little reserve it buy yeah. little reserve it and then we avoid this uh stressful period yeah and financial stress emotional stress physical stress <laughs> everything can happen during christmas it's just a wise idea for us to avoid it and then be very very prayerful exactly no i i, I totally agree with the planning ahead and you know i had not thought about um the fact that even just waiting to last minute to buy either gifts mm. or the food for the house can be um oh, stressful yeah. but um you know it's something that we should all bear in mind um even now that you know don't wait till christmas eve or even this saturday um just try and go out before it then and if you need to get things just get it little by little so that you're not rushing and feeling stressed very close to christmas wow
Thank you so much. This is this is interesting. We are on Let's Build It on PLZ Radio 109.2 FM. We're talking about the true meaning of Christmas. Mm. And we have said that the true meaning of Christmas <laughs> is just about Christ. Yeah. The celebration of our Lord Jesus Christ, the day he came to this world as human being. So that he came to die for you and I so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Okay. He came to show us love. He came to demonstrate the way he wants us to live our life. The way God wants us to live our life. To show love. And God gave us his only begotten son. Mm. So that we can know him. So that we can understand him better. And that is the, the, uh, uh, the power of love. For him mm. to give us something mm. so in this season we will expect us to give it doesn't have to be gift no. you agree with me it doesn't no. have to be give give your time yeah. give your lend your uh, ears to someone listen mm. to them mm. some people are just looking for somebody to talk to yeah. some people are just looking for someone to tell them that everything is gonna be all right and some people are looking for people to pray with them that mm. agree with them that this year we are not the next year will be a better year for you mm -hmm. some people are just waiting for someone to say are you okay yeah and that's a gift that we can give others as well it doesn't yeah. have to be some things that you know will not be useful for somebody yes so yeah i think a lot of people so should expect um are you okay from me oh, <laughs> oh, yes. and giving no no but you're you're, tr you're truly right i mean i mean when we think about giving we automatically in our head think about finances and money monetary things and material things but you know time time can is is precious and and that gift of of supporting people who are truly in need because you know you might have a few days off try and call that person that you haven't spoken to for a while mm -hmm. and find out how they are and speak to them and and you know Th that that gift can really save save people from whatever issues they're going on praying with others as well it, it can be a huge gift so so you know please do spend your time and and effort on others rather than um f focusing on the material things that's true mm. and then we should also watch out people that need this gift too. yeah some people need this more than the others mm. we just want to uh please people and say okay yeah. yeah give me i give you yeah but there are some people that maybe we are not so close to that mm. needs gifts at this yeah. particular point in time maybe mm. we can just look around mm. and do something special for yeah. these ones and god it will be recorded in heaven that we have done it yeah. or even members of our family that we know that oh i've not done anything for this person mm -hmm. for so long let me just reach out yeah. to this person i know some people might want to take advantage of that but mm. god sees our heart yeah and when you have you say yeah i have when you don't have you tell them you don't you have just be open and you, honest yeah you, you are not under any bondage because you have given because i know if you give somebody something once they might think it's overflowing especially mm. from the culture <laughs> that we came from or it doesn't matter when the spirit leads you to do something for mm. someone it might be their christmas present yeah. or even just buy food for somebody it might be their christmas present and mm. god sees your heart he mm. sees what we do genuinely mm. to people that are around us and god will help us in jesus name Amen. so we should uh keep everything simple yeah don't there's no need to show off <laughs> there's no one you want to show off to honestly if you show off to somebody today somebody will beat your record tomorrow <laughs> exactly <laughs> someone else will beat your record and at the end of the day you've just got the glory for that minute mm. <laughs> after you've left they've forgotten yeah if your intention is just about showing <laughs> exactly. off you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money as exactly. you said <laughs> so please if you are going to talk about christ to someone that's what you want to give mm. them just give them explain what they don't understand to them mm. take your time to explain to them and god will give them understanding heart in jesus name amen okay now we want to advise people for this season yeah there's so many things going on what advice do we have for our people um i think one thing to try and do is to um delegate so you know we talked about um stress stress already mm. um i think where where possible try and um ask others for help so it's not just about delegating it's just about seeking for support really so mm -hmm. if you can't do certain things then ask for help um 
you know, I, I, I wouldn't expect my wife to ask me to maybe cook the um, turkey because I might uh, mess it up. But <laughs> if there's other ways that um, I can support, maybe it's with our son or just with other things, then I will I will try and help. And I, I think we should offer our, our, our support to others during this period so that you, you don't get yeah, on that On that mm. point, you know, we, we over the year in Lesbian, we've been talking mm. about our, our health, mm. our health, and especially the uh, aspect of our health that we cannot see, yeah. that other people cannot see. We talked about mental health, yeah. we talked about anxiety, mm. we talked about stress, depression, and all yeah. those things. After mm. Christmas, many people oh, do yes. enter into this situation, so mm. we need to avoid that. Yeah. We don't want this to happen even as we're celebrating at uh, the birth of our lord jesus yeah. christ so we need to be very very sensitive yeah. to the people around us mm. don't leave everything to, to one person to, one person yeah. to do yeah. because some people are not good at delegating mm, yeah. things so you offer yourself to i'm for example i don't know how to send people on errand <laughs> i'd rather go there and start and do to do it myself mm. and when i'm tired i know my feet mm. is shaking mm. and i want to rest you yeah. know but people might not see it they mm. might just see oh that superwoman that love yeah. to be in the kitchen all the time well we need to be sensitive to such people that yeah. doesn't know how to delegate yeah. just watch out do you need some help mm -hmm. can, where can i come in and things like that you will find out that somebody that is being is already going through stress we jump for the help yeah we jump for the offer immediately mm. so please let us be sensitive to every member of our families we don't want anyone to crash down no. after the mm. after the christmas mm. yeah i i think another thing to do is to um avoid conflict because it, it's very easy as you say some people are really um upset or they're um, around this period and it's easy for them to express their frustration in in physical or verbal um, um, ways that, uh, that that are not pleasant so what I would say is we need to try and avoid conflict where, where, wherever possible and just remembering that what you, you might not know exactly what's going on in that person's mind and in their thoughts and what they're they're ex experiencing because as you say for some this period although we're set in ce celebratory mood um, for some it is um, a bit of frustration for various reasons um, so we just need to be avoiding conflict and you know conflict also comes from the fact that a lot of people are you know either too excited and are just not in their <laughs> in their right minds mm. or um, you know they've dr drunk more than they should um, in terms of um, or taking um, too much alcohol or they're just not in the right um, uh, mind so we just need to be very careful about the these situations and to try and avoid conflict because that's really goes against what we're trying to celebrate the true meaning of this season which is about in love if we if around christmas is a time when we're fighting with mm. with this person or the other um for one for one reason yeah. or another it just truly defeated the objective if you're getting upset because this person didn't buy you a, a gift um and you bought them one then it's truly defeated the objective of even the gift given that you're doing and the whole season mm -hmm. so we need to try and avoid conflict and just be in a joyous mood as much as possible because the true meaning of the season is about christ and is about love mm -hmm. so, yeah. so i think that's another thing that we need to be as, uh, mindful of drivers as well yeah. you're not going to the same destination mm. some silly drivers are on the road yeah just let them be let mm. them go mm. be patient let's demonstrate that we are christ's example yeah. than to be proving a point mm. you don't even know them from adam mm. why will you be raising with them on the road yeah. some people are not in their right minds they are not in their right senses they are so frustrated they mm. don't have the money for the gift mm. they don't even wear they don't know where mm. some families are not together and this is the time that it shows yeah. and they are frustrated about mm. it that oh everybody is talking i'm i'm going to my nanny's place i'm going to my dad's house i'm going to my mom's house i'm mm. going to my uncle all of us are meeting there mm. some people don't have that luxury yeah. they don't have it and they are angry within mm. so we need to be careful and be very very sensitive to yeah. the people around us because there are so many angry people mm. and you don't have to know the reason why they are angry yeah. we just have to manage it with them exactly. and god will help us Amen. I suppose the la um, one of the f last things I'd say about um, in terms of advice is watching what we eat. <laughs> Because, you know, for some of us, we try to eat so much on, yeah. uh, on this day. And, you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't enjoy yourself, but gluttony is something that we're warned against as Christians anyway. But 
we just need to be mindful of our own health and well-being and i know let's be real it definitely promotes good health and well-being and so you know remembering that uh you have to live the next days after christmas and that you're probably not going to go to the gym on the first of january as you think you will um we should just be mindful of, as to um what we're eating as well okay. one of the um most popular episode that we did yeah. was the fancy a drink <laughs> and on that episode we talk about drinking water drinking yeah. uh doing away with some fizzy drink and this and mm. that and i believe that people are <laughs> touched by that episode so i believe that people will watch what they drink yeah. and we also talked about the v word it's a lot a oh. lot of vegetables <laughs> i know there will be a lot of rules broken <laughs> around even christmas, in this christmas yeah. season. but don't let us forget about the exercise yeah. exercise exercise e exactly because we might be carried away we are eating turkey, we are eating mm. potato, we are playing game, we are eating, uh, mm. fried rice is coming in, another jello fries is coming mm. in, after that we are pandediyama, mm. we are <laughs> indoor eating and yeah. eating, drinking and drinking and drinking. Yeah. Before we know it, we are foot on how many <laughs> kg, yeah. so, and we are rushing to the gym in January. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. As we eat, let us exercise. Yeah. Don't stay in one place and begin to consume and overdose your system with sugar. Yeah. Overdose your system with fats. Mm. Because we are frying, we are doing all this and that because we, we know that it's Christmas prayer, we can break any rules now. Exactly. Please don't eat to the point that you will be admitted into mm. the hospital. Amen. Things that are not part of you, that you are not used to. When you take too much of it into your body, it will mm. react negatively. Yeah. So let's be aware that what can my body take? don't lend me because i didn't pay for yeah. this because if you go to restaurants and you pay 50 pounds yeah. per meal you get in yeah. what is enough for your body yeah. well during christmas we eat and eat and eat yeah. we buy and buy and buy the freezer the fridge is overflowing and then we tend to eat everything we eat cake yeah. pudding yogurt chocolate ice cream everything yeah in the, let's be careful. In, in the same way um, not just about food but from um the alcohol perspective which we've mentioned previously as well just being very mindful about the amount of alcohol you're taking as we said we don't want to defeat the objective or the true meaning of the season because if we're getting drunk to the extent where we're making fools of ourselves on on, on christmas it really just means that we are being um, you know part of the world and being um letting our flesh take over to the extent where we we're defeating the objective of, of or, or the true meaning of Christmas. Mm -hmm. So let's not um, overeat. Let's not get um, drunk to the extent where we forget ourselves and we start making a fool of ourselves. Let us be true Christians and and th this is not saying that you shouldn't enjoy enjoy yes, yourself yes. have fun with your family celebrate celebrate christ celebrate um love celebrate your families but let us not um be on um, you know uh, on like unbelievers on the day and and not celebrate christ thank you so much i believe that you all got the true meaning of christmas if you want to listen to this episode over and over again you can go on the soundcloud and download it mm -hmm. and listen to it or share it for to members of your family and your friends so that they will know the advice that we have given today about christmas and i wish you all very merry christmas mm -hmm. and a happy new year god bless you whatever you are looking unto the lord for in this season of giving the lord we give it to you in the mighty name of jesus Amen. the the coming of our lord jesus christ will not be in vain even in your lives in my life in the mighty name of jesus Amen. we will see again next year by god's grace Amen. he will keep us he will, he will keep us safe in the mighty name of jesus Amen. enjoy your christmas everyone if you have any topic that you want us to bring on here during the new year please don't forget to email it to us on lesbillyrplzfm.com lesbillyrplzfm.com god bless you and i seize this opportunity to say a very massive thank you for tuning in every week thank you and stay safe Meet Pastor Jumi Opadare, a devout woman of God, wife, mother, and entrepreneur. A God-fearing woman who has devoted her time to ensuring that God's message is used to empower everyone, but most especially women. 
with a strong belief in the importance of women empowering women and educating each other through our life experiences, she is the founder of Women's Forum, Let's Be Real, a forum for women to work through issues and set and accomplish goals together. Held every second Friday of every month at 6 Elton Road, Lee Green, London. Keep up with Let's Be Real here on PRZFM every Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m.